Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I hope that you're having a wonderful day. We are going to listen to Jeff Buckley, man. <laughs> man, 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 man. It's been such a long time since we've listened to Jeff Buckley. I know it probably looked like I've abandoned the album. I've, listen, Grace? God, that's a good song. <laughs> like, man, that one's been on my playlist and I sing it all the time in the car when I'm driving to work, from work, anywhere but work. I am singing it and that last part always makes my throat hurt a lot. But listen, I sing it and I hit the notes as best as I can. Um, and I've always had him in the back of my mind to come back to, but I just never have gotten back to him. But every once in a while I see comments remind me, hey, don't forget Jeff Buckley. Hey, go back to Grace. And to Grace we are. So let's move on to the next track here on his album, which is Last Goodbye. And for this album, I promise this will not be the last goodbye, the last listen to it. Um, Jeff Buckley, I'm excited to listen to more. I, I'm, like I said, I've listened to Grace over and over and over again. On the channel, I listen to like song, 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 right? When I actually listen to something for the first time in like my private time, I'll listen to the album, but I stick with the same album, the same songs, and I just listen to them repeatedly, repeatedly, repeatedly. Like, if it's my first time listening to a band, I'm talking on my own, not on the channel, right? Take the channel out of it. If it's my first time discovering a band, an album, or whatever, I listen to this album from a band or an artist, and let's just say I love it. I fall in love with this album. Let's just say the band or the artist has 10 other albums. I won't listen to another album from them until I've listened to that album, like, <laughs> honestly, at least, at least six times. Because it's, it's so amazing when you discover new music and you fall in love with it, you just want to stick with it. You just want to hear more of it. Like, yeah, you'll eventually listen to more from the band or artist, but like, you want to stick with it. So, um, I don't know how I got onto that topic, but let's go ahead and listen to a little Jeff Buckley with Last Goodbye.
popping, man. It's popping. It's popping. I'm loving the way that Bu that Buckley is singing. I love the bass in here. I love the riffing, the guitar. Drumming is fantastic as well. It all just comes together. But the beginning when the bass really kicks in, oh yeah. And then you gotta love the way Jeff hits those those specific notes. Okay, hear me out. Okay, I'm gonna make two comparisons with Jeff Bucks. Jeff Bucks. <laughs> Jeff Buckley's singing. Two comparisons, and it's not necessarily to compare the voices. It's to compare. What's the word? Intonations. The what? Just hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. I don't need the word. Throw the word out. Okay. I've only heard three songs now by Jeff Buckley, so take this with a huge grain of salt and that I don't know what I'm talking about. Jeff Buckley is, to me, in some ways, he reminds me a little bit of Brian Ferry from Roxy Music. I know! Wait, 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 wait. I know. They do not sound anything alike. No, 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 no. But here's what I'm getting at when I was listening to him. They both sing in an, an emotionally, romantically seductive manner, but in different ways. Jeff Buckley is the kid that was sitting on the lawns of a community college with an acoustic guitar in his early 20s with women and men sitting around him in a circle just eyeing him. The guys wanted to be him. The women wanted to be with him. Brian Ferry is the refined and older musician who is just a, a powerhouse on stage. And through his voice, through his mannerisms, he can just give you a look. And your pants drop. <laughs> okay, but okay, but hear me out, but hear me out, but hear me out. I think that they both sing in a very seductive way, but just with different means in their voice. The second thing I was thinking about listening to Jeff Buckley, he also reminds me of Kate Bush. Just hold on, just just wait. Take your hands and your fingers off the keyboard. Just, just wait a second. Not in how they sound, but in the sense that they both perform a lot of vocal acrobatics and dance maneuvers, but it's not like for example, a diva who's just spring stepping and cartwheeling their vocals all over the place just to kind of show you they can. Every time that Jeff Buckley goes into like his whoo, like his little falsetto, that is just <laughs> the only word I can think of is cute for it. It's like it's performing a vocal acrobatic, but with purpose, with meaning. The same way that Kate Bush uses her vocal acrobatics to enhance her music and to give it a, a narrative form. And it's always a delight to listen to. It's not so much, let me show you what I can do. It's more, let me show you what I mean. That's exactly what I'm hearing when I listen to Jeff Buckley. Like I said, the music surrounding is absolutely fantastic as well. But I can't help but focus on his voice. Especially the way he said baby. I didn't even get the like timestamp like where he said it. But there's a part where he says baby. I mean, he gets you. panties dropped <laughs> okay 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 all right but i love the way he sings though i love the way he sings this is our last goodbye i hate to feel the love between us die but it's over just hear this and then i'll go you gave me more to live for more than you'll ever know he's acknowledging hey this is the end of the relationship but i do want to let you know all that you meant to me i do want to let you know that this wasn't a waste of time for myself at least because you had a lot of meaning and you gave me a reason to live. This is our last embrace. Must I dream and always see your face? Why can't we overcome this wall, baby? Maybe it's just because I don't know you at all. Maybe he doesn't know her. Or at least he feels like he doesn't know her. So throughout their relationship, they may have gotten close, but not personally. Or something was missing. There was a miscommunication. Kiss me. Please kiss me. Kiss me out of desire, baby. Not consolation. I love that line. Kiss me because you want to. Not because you think it'll make me feel better. Don't pity kiss me. Pleasure kiss me. I'll only make you cry. This is our last goodbye. Did you say, no, this can't happen to me? Did you rush to the phone to call? 
Was there a voice unkind in the back of your mind saying maybe you didn't know him, know him at all? You didn't know? Well, the church bells, uh, or I'm sorry, the bells in the church tower chime, burning clues into this heart of mine, thinking so hard on her soft eyes and the memories offer signs that it's over. It's over. You can, you can look into each other's eyes and you just know this ain't going nowhere. It's time to say our last goodbye. Anyways, let me know what you guys thought of the video. Let me know what you guys thought of the music. Uh, hope that you enjoyed it. I know. I know my comparisons were out there. It's just, I don't know. It's just, it just tickled my brain. And when, I tip, when I'm tickled, I have to laugh. Anyways, I don't even know what that means. If you want, you can follow me on Twitter. You can support the channel on Patreon. I hope that you had a good time here. Hope you come back tomorrow. Thank you again. And thank you as always. And I'll see you later, guys. <laughs> Bye.